任何人他都可以圆想要出国的梦。申请到了全额的奖助学金，看到了我整个人散发超级强的正能量。We don't have internet or signals. Feeling stupid. I was like, oh, I should have known this earlier. Faith, trust, believe in yourself. 嗨，大家好，欢迎回到我的频道。今天这支影片呢，想跟你们分享的就是，大多数的人都会有一个迷思：高中出国留学念书，一定代表家里很有钱，或是你靠关系才出得了国。我在去年高二的时候，以部分的奖助学金申请到世界联合书院的亚美尼亚分校。我今天就想跟你们说，呃，我是怎么从一个乡村的小康普通家庭，靠自己的实力还有努力去申请到国外的学校。然后呢，我今天也会邀。请我的菲律宾室友呢，让他跟你们说他是怎么从他菲律宾的家乡的一个贫苦、很拮据的一个生活环境里面，去申请到了全额的奖助学金，跟我一样，现在在这边就读。但我们都相信，能真正决定你人生轨道的重要关键是，你有没有善用资源，把握信息差，然后对人生还有世界都怀抱着一种很热情，然后很正向的态度。所以，普通人绝对也可以申请到国外学校。逆转人生。那在这里跟大家小小简单介绍一下什么是世界联合书院 （United World College）。这个学校是国际的技术学校，在全球设有十八个校区，集结上百个国家的优秀青年，去为和平永续的社会做出奉献。那学校采用的是国际 IB 学制。台湾每年大约会甄选二十位十六到十九岁的青少年，家庭经济的状况去提供助学金，所以就为高中生提供了非常好出国留学的。机会哦。那我第一个会提到的是，怎么用你仅有的英文资源去提升英文能力。很多人应该都会觉得说，出国英文是不是一定要很好？普通高中生怎么可能有办法有那么好的英文？那其实我自己的背景是，我在国中到高二的时候是就读云林的维多利亚实验中学。那我爸妈其实很注重培养我的语文能力，在国二的时候我就转到了国际班就读 I G C A C 课程。听到这里，你肯定会说，哦，那就一定是家里有钱才有办法读国。记班嘛，那其实我觉得，在我进去维多利亚之前，我的英文能力就已经算是相当不错的了。那我会把这个归功于，就是我自己课外对英文学习的毅力还有坚持。我尽量会让自己，就是尽管是在学校以外的地方去沉浸在就是有英文的环境里，不论是看小说，然后看电影啊，或是听 podcast， 或者你甚至是看新闻的时候，你都可以用英文尝试着去理解。那甚至。你可以以英文去练习怎么和你的朋友、呃、聊天啊、沟通之类的。所以我觉得可以顺利申请到国外的国际学校的关键，其实不是因为我读了国际版，而是因为我一直保持就是、呃、英文的输入还有输出。而且像我在这边的台湾的学长姐还有我的同学，他们其实很多都是台湾国内教育体制然后普高申请公费然后才出国留学的。回归正题，如果你是台湾正常的高中生呢，平常接触英文的。的机会应该就只有。嗯、呃，学校英文课、补习班，还有网络资源。说到英文课，我觉得只要你在学校有好好念，国内的教育系统绝对也可以把你的英文能力就是塑造的非常好。我有很多学长姐，他们其实也没有额外补习，但是他们的英文水平也是非常的好。那如果你还有能力去补习班的话，你甚至可以尝试去考英检啊，像是雅思、多益、托福等等，就是一个认证。那如果是呃网络资源的话呢，真的实在是太多太多可以学习英文的方。法。像我自己的话，我可能就会读 BBC 新闻啊，呃，权威的英文杂志，像是 Economist， 他们其实在学术上都可以很好提升你的英文水平。我还有国外的朋友，单靠网络资源把英文学得跟母语一样。像我之前的意大利的室友，他就是靠只看电影把英文学得跟母语者一样。他甚至还用这个方法，然后去学了第二外语和第三外语。所以很多时候，我觉得一个人他的英文水准真的是看他自己的造化。与其去埋怨说他的家庭背景不好啊，然后不够有钱等等的，其实我觉得很多正常普通的台湾高中生，他其实英文能力也可以到非常好的一个地步，只是他们没有去，他们不知道，然后没有去读而已。然后我的频道在接下来的
几个月也会出怎么自己学英文，然后就是不用去上补习班，也可以把雅思考得非常好。大家要好好 follow 去提升英文能力哦。那第二个我会提到的是学校的资源还有成绩，在申请留学，特别是世界联合书院的方面，其实你的成绩也是一个非常重要的东西。成绩它其实是反映大多数人他在课业表现的水平上，还有他对课业的态度。那如果你是成绩太差的话，或是你根本就不想学的话，在出国的话，你的基础水平可能会让你没有办法跟上课程的进度。尤其是我们学校，它是采用 IB 的学制，它是一个非常严格，然后压力很大、很严谨的一个课程。台湾国内都没有办法好好 handle 你的成绩的话，那其实我觉得出国的话，也有点失去了你想要进修、想要进步的那种价值还有意义了。那当时候我高二出国前的成绩是，呃，全科 A， 然后单科 B，GPA 大概是在 3.7， 然后最后有进步到是四点多左右。那 IGCSE 考出来的成绩也很不错，呃，你这个成绩就是可以让你的面试官或是在审核你资料的人可以一眼快速的就知道说，哦，你在这个成绩方面是有投入心血还有时间的。所以当你和同龄人都接受相同的教育资源或是教育体制之下呢，成绩就是可以很快的去拉开你和别人的差距。愿不愿意去做这件事情，就是完全是靠你的决心。那第三个我会讲到的就是信息差。那其实你只要多一则别人不知道的消息，其实你的机会和收益就会更大。那时候世界联合书院是我高中班上一个很优秀的同学，他去申请，然后申请到了新加坡分校。后来他去读了，读完之后呢，强烈的去建议我去申请。大部分班上的人都知道他读的是 UWC， 但是呢，最后就只有我一个人去申请，因为我就觉得说。为什么不尝试去试试看，去争取这个机会呢？那我觉得信息差，它其实跟你的朋友圈也有很大的关联。我的建议就是，你去多接触对出国留学有研究的人，然后甚至去询问，就是一些已经出国然后有经验的学长姐们。自己的话呢，我就很常在 Instagram 上面去就是私讯，就是已经在国外然后深造的高中生，不认识的高中生或是大学生，去询问他们留学的相关意见。你也可以自己去网络上多做。一些调查，像是很多网站呢、啊、，IV 位、部落格啊、YouTube， 其实都有蛮多资讯，你都可以去搜寻的。信息差，它其实就是可以让一个人掌握到别人不知道的东西，然后尽量去 take advantage of it in a good way。我有很多在 U 老七现在读的朋友们，无论是台湾的还是国外的，他们其实都是因为无法容忍舒适圈的单调，不甘于在现况打转，所以他们很想要到处去世界各地闯一闯啊，然后对这个社会有更多的奉献。所以呢。我很多朋友他们的课外活动都非常的丰富，组织百人千人的环境清洁活动啊，去参加欧洲世界各地的环境气候会议，甚至去自己开一个公司，然后卖衣服的也有啊，就是他们自己不会让自己局限在一个很小的地方，尽量去扩展自己的视野啊，然后去尝试一些不是只有课业的东西。所以我觉得很重要一点就是你的专长还有喜好是不是可以为这个世界带来一些改变。然后同时呢，也有就是批判性的思维啊，然后对整个多元文化的包容，还有就是对你人生啊，还有目标都非常热情。那我相信，其实那时候我在面试的时候，那些考官看到了我整个人散发超级强的正能量，然后再加上满满的驱动力，行动力很强，就是因为这些，然后再加上课外做的一些比较人文相关性质的东西，让我在众多的申请者中脱颖而出。Jump right into the interview session. This is Jelik. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Jelik or Angelic Shane Herona, and I am from the Philippines. Yes. What's your grade now? Second year in UWC Diligent College. Okay. What's the relationship between us? Roommates. Ooh, roommates. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's get into the topic. How was your life before UWC? It was very different. For example, just to be specific, here we just go to the cafeteria and eat. Back home, I need to pretend that I'm sleeping so that my parents will not think what food to serve on us. Every day we need to think. It's like a struggle. What should we put in our table today? It was very different. And also, I came from an island has limited resources. We don't have internet or signals. But it's actually helpful because we kind of interact with everyone in the community. How's the school education? 
the school, I've been transferring to a lot of school. Like I, this is my seventh school, and all are public places. And I've been to like big classes, small classes. I also experienced like being an average student or lower high, whatever. How did you learn English before you did this? We studied English since first grade. Not really how to speak, but yeah, kind of the grammar, yeah. the basics one. And then high school, write essays or analysis of the literature and texts. Every there's program we need to speak in English or our national language Tagalog. Also watching movies and Filipinos also call this word Taglish. So it's like the mix of Tagalog and English. And we use it in our daily That's conversation. Cute. Okay. <laughs> so you don't really got a chance to like really speak English in your daily life? No. Never. Never. How was your academic performance in your previous high school? I already experienced having lower than the average one. So I experienced feeling stupid. I had a bad grade before and I was like, oh, this is my the end of the world, what happened to me? But I don't want this to keep on happening. I also experienced being an excellent student, like an achiever. I go to different contests, monologues, drama, and whatever. I also experienced just being a normal one. Why did you apply to UWC? Because I have dreams. I have this cute dream I want to be an actress. <laughs> I want to be an actress. But I'm not sure about that thing yet, but let's see. I also remember when my mom told me, once you finish high school, it's done. You're not going to college anymore. And when I learned, I heard about that, I was like, no way. But why did your mom say that? Oh, because we're from a very poor family. My family can't afford college. So when she said that, I promised myself to not let that happen. I will find ways. Yeah, yeah, for sure. To the UWSC. <laughs> Who recommended that you should apply to UWSC? It was a very random day. My cousin, she was like the secretary in our church, yeah. and she met this person, and just she kind of introduced her to UWC. She's like a cousin as well of alumni in a UWC yeah. school, and she introduced me to UWC. And I was like, and she was like, "Are you interested in applying?" And I was, "You should apply." I was like, "Yes, I will." Yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely, I will apply. It's about like going to church, kind of give you like this coincidence, this chance. That's why, yes. Okay, <laughs> it's about more like. Mm -mm. What do you think about like what's the most important quality that one should have when studying abroad? Faith, like, trust, believing in yourself. Confidence is really important. When you believe that you can do it, then you can really do it. Mm -hmm. When I learned about UWC, I was like, hmm, I want to know more about this. Mm -hmm. Going to abroad? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, all are? Oh! Yes. I research, research, research. Mm -hmm. And research is also not enough. You need to know it from experiences of people. So I asked alumni, national committees, web page. I watch some UWC vlogs. <laughs> I, like, I did that too. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is so good. Curiosity, asking questions, I think is a very important quality. Like, like having more information and others kind of put you in a better position. Yeah. To get, like more opportunities. Because you feel like you're more closer and you feel like you know better. You know better. Yeah. It'll give you that confidence mm -hmm. as well. Yes, that's true. <laughs> the last question is, how can a normal high school getting enough resource to really study abroad and apply to university? When I also came here, aside from UWC, I learned that there are a lot of organizations that are almost similar to UWC. And I wish I'd known that better earlier. Because I wish I could also tell this to my friends. However, in UWC, the age boundaries are not suitable anymore for them. So I was like, oh, I should have known this earlier. I should have known this before. That way, maybe all of the people I know who also really need this kind of opportunity will be able to get it. That's exactly what we're doing right now. Yes, well, yes, yeah. apply to you to be seen. That's the end of the interview, and thank you, Jelly, for coming to my channel. And I hope that she can come more often. Okay, then that's it. See you. See ya. 真的很谢谢 Jelly， 他可以跟我们分享这么多的经历，所以我觉得就是只要是普通的高中生，你只要好好去学习英文，然后成绩维持好，对你的人生还有未来都抱有抱负，然后还有热情，对社会去展现你想要贡献的一个决心，任何人他都可以圆想要出国的梦。那 U W C 甄选呢是在每年的九月到十月左右，现在录这个影片就是想要让大家有一年的时间可以再准备好好提升自己。那我之后的频道还会出。怎么自学英文呢？还有怎么考雅思等等的影片，所以大家千万要好好发喽。那今天就先这样子啦，拜拜。